Today is my pleasure to uh, welcome Kai Fu Li, President of Greater China, to give us an open talk about China, about Google China. And uh, please welcome uh, Kai Fu Li. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much, Feng. Um, I know after the talk there may be a lot of questions still. Uh, Feng is uh, one of the early employees at, at Google, right? Number. A few hundred. <laughs> and uh, he's also working very closely with the China team. So if you have any questions about the talk and some, and we don't get to talk, feel free to connect with him as well. Uh, it's really great to see so many um, uh, familiar faces, old friends, uh, back in Seattle again. Um, today I'm going to tell you about what I've been up to for the, um, for the last um, year and a half. Actually, I, know, I think you know what I've been up to the first two months of the year and a half. But the remaining, the remaining 16 months, a lot of exciting things have happened. So I'm going to just tell you about, about it. Um, I'm going to tell you about the opportunity um, for, for, uh, for, for any internet company in China. And then tell you a little bit about, at very high level, what we're trying to accomplish in China. Um, how we're hiring great people, targeting great plans. And then tell you a bit about how we're working with um, worldwide R&D to really build great products uh, for China and for worldwide, and that we have a special relationship with our sister office in Kirkland, and we want to do a lot of projects together. So first, opportunities and challenges. Well, China is huge. Everybody knows that. Um, I think everyone here knows that the internet population is rapidly catching up with the US um, at about 140 million um, at, at, as of today. And um, it's, it's getting close to the American um, internet population, but more excitingly, it's growing at 25% rather than 3%. So at this rate, uh, in a few years, China will be the largest internet country in the whole world. Uh, even more excitingly, broadband. Uh, in the last year, Chinese broadband users overtook uh, American broadband users. Many people might assume China as a poorer country would have less broadband coverage, but that's wrong. Uh, broadband is huge in China because the metropolitan distribution uh, matches very well uh, buildup of great broadband networks inside metropolitan areas. Uh, mobile phones, it's even no comparison. There are 440 million uh, paid subscribers in China. And you, as you can see here, the, um, there are many more mobile users than internet users. So uh, many people may be experiencing internet the first time on their phone, not on their PC. And the last one, even a bigger disproportionate comparison, is that engineering graduates in China outnumber the US 8 to 1. So these are all reasons we want to be in China. right? We want to reach the internet uh, population, uh, take advantage of broadband, and demonstrate our great products, such as um, uh, Google Video and others that do require uh, broadband, uh, reach the mobile users, and of course, hire the engineering graduates. But at the same time, China's full of challenges. Um, some of the challenges are that the internet is um, uh, a combination, it's a much younger audience in China compared to the United States. Um, there are many more younger users, and the users are much more interested in fun and somewhat less interested in pursuit of knowledge. So if you go to an internet cafe, who's been to, who's been to an internet cafe in China? Very, very few. Um, you might notice that the browser is not even installed or used in many, on many machines, right? People are there to do what? Games, music, video, movies, and occasionally a browser window pops up, usually a pop-up ad of some sort. Um, so browsing is not common and certainly so, so much farther out for search. Uh, there is a very grassroots usage. Um, a lot of the uh, grassroots users love entertainment, MP3, and games. Um, and, and also, there's a strong sense of community. So if you go to one of the portals in China, look at one of the popular controversial news, and you'll see 10,000 responses with people arguing with each other. The sense of community is very strong. Um, BBS, you know, a concept that nobody uses in the US anymore, bulletin boards. And you know, I remember that from my college days. But, uh, uh, but in China, how many page views a day? One billion. So that's how alive and well the BBS is and the sense of community that it brings. Um, there's a, unfortunately, uh, there's a lack of credit card or credit card credit system. You know, eBay tried to establish that. It didn't really quite fly. It seems like people 
are not completely ready to build up trust over the internet. People are willing to meet each other, talk to each other, play games with each other, learn new concepts over the internet, but when they want to hand over money, they want to see the merchandise and the person that, that's selling to you. Okay, so that, that's different. And of course, not having credit cards causes a bunch of issues. Um, advertisers aren't able to track returns as well. E-commerce is slower to take off, so that's a bit on the downside. Um, and then the high growth market will have very rapid changes. New users coming on board, leaders la last year might not be leaders anymore. Um, so that's uh, quite, a, quite a dynamic market. Um, and of course, government regulatory policies are different. US is about as open as you get. Now, many countries do have restrictions on the internet, and China is among them. Um, aggress fast moving competitors. Um, those of you who've seen uh, Chinese internet companies realize that companies move fast, um, and then they um, are also very aggressive in, 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 in trying to get market share or um, uh, perhaps are ridiculing their competitors and things like that. It's um, rather like a wild, wild west um, in terms of internet competition. There's a perception that non-local internet companies fall. Um, every talk I ever give, this question always comes up, you know, co company X, Y, Z have all failed in China. Why do you think you'll succeed? Uh, some might even include us as companies that have failed, and we haven't even started. <laughs> so um, that um, mystery and um, uh, legend uh, needs to be disproved. And Google is certainly out and committed to disprove that multinational internet companies can, in fact, succeed in China. So that's the landscape. And I want to tell you a little bit our, about our plan. Um, uh, as you might expect, um, you're not going to hear anything about our products or strategy overall, but I'll give you an idea of what we hope to accomplish in the coming years and how we're going about building a team. So back to this um, 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 belief or mystery that internet multi multinational companies shall fail in China. So why should Google be different? I think our primary, my primary answer for that is something Eric Schmidt said to me last week. We will take a long-term view to win in China. Chinese have a 5,000 years of history. Google has 5,000 years of patience, okay? <laughs> we, sh we sure hope it happens a lot sooner than that, but we're making a long-term bet. You know, we're not in China to make a profit today. We're not in China to grab market share at all costs. We're committed to China and the Chinese users and winning them over by building better products. And before you build better products, you gotta have a good team. So market shares will fluctuate, but we're deeply committed to building the right thing in the long term. So with that in mind, our plan is really, in the past year that, that I have been in China, we were there to build foundation. It's a year of building, it's a year of planting, and hopefully this year, this year will become a year of harvesting. So in 06, we've established presence. We've um, built a website that complies with local laws. We come up with a Chinese name. Um, some people might ask about our Chinese name, whether they like it or not. Some people love it, some people don't love it. Um, but the important thing to realize is half of the internet users do not know how to spell Google. So we want a Chinese name so that they can type G-U-G-E dot C-N and get to our website. Uh, we've started uh, marketing to universities because that's where the next gen users will come out of and where there's a natural inclination to liking Google. We've established some partnerships. You might have heard about the China Mobile Partnership, as well as the Xunlei investment that we've made. And we have many more that will be coming down the pike. Uh, of course, you know, those deals took, take months to negotiate and discuss, and 06 was when we did it. And lastly, in bold, is the biggest thing we did. We really built a great foundation by building a world-class engineering team. And I'll say more about that later.